What's going on guys, Kudos to Barry Brand from Juice Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to get the customs key. It's pretty simple, uh, I'll show you real quick. Um, I'm going to go into customs with my uh, main dude. Uh, I'm going to enable offline mode just so it's easier to uh, show you what's going on. Um, but yeah, we're going to go in, we're going to find the customs key, and I'll show you where to use the customs key and uh, what you can get from it. Alright, so it spawned me over here by the rail cars. Um, so we're gonna go over here. You're gonna find when you spawn over here by the rail cars, sometimes you'll spawn down uh, farther down this road right here. You're just gonna follow it up till you find this red warehouse. So this red warehouse has two blue buildings like this one right here adjacent to it. So you're gonna go inside and Bam, we got these filing cabinets. So you're gonna search these filing cabinets. Uh, both these filing cabinets spawn tons of keys. There's one right there. And, oh, hey, a horse figurine. So you're just gonna search these. Uh, eventually, since they spawn keys so regularly, uh, you will find, yep, see, look at that. <laughs> tons of keys, right? So there's one inside this building. I'm gonna show you where the other one's at real quick. Alright, so here's the second blue building. Come inside here. Over on your left, here is the other filing cabinet. Go ahead and search. Eventually you will find the customs key. Look at that. I just found four keys in, what, two minutes? Easy day. And now, I will show you what you can do with those keys. Alright guys, I'm back and I am... By these storage containers. I have left the offline session, gone to an online session, jump over that barbed wire, and I've spawned by these storage containers. So I'm gonna go head out this way. Hopefully, don't run into any players with guns. And I'm gonna run to that red building. That's the same red building that we looked at earlier between the two uh, blue buildings, like that one right there that we found the customs key in, in those filing cabinets. So, I'm going to run in. I'm going to show you where to use that key. Hopefully, we don't run into any players who are gung-ho on killing us. So, we're going to run into this red building. We're going to find this staircase right here. We're going to go up this staircase. So, let's go up the staircase. No enemy players, no enemy players, no enemy players. Please, 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 open. Come on, come on, come on, come on, open. That thing is open as shit. Now it is actually open as shit. And now it is closed as shit. So I'm going to go over here to this room right here. Breach it because uh, it's the loudest. Because you have to breach that one. I'm going to close that behind me. And so now we're in the customs office. Look at that. So right here is where you're going to find your document case for uh, Proper's third quest. It'll be right here on top of this little uh, storage cabinet. Now we're going to move along and look at the goodies. Right here's a safe. Open this up. This safe usually has some good stuff in it. I found a Bitcoin in here. I found all kinds of good stuff. Uh, some rules, some euros. That's not that great, actually. Uh, it's hit and miss. I found some sweet watches, gold chains, uh, bitcoins. Like I said, this uh, right here is also lootable. This jacket. Not gonna loot that because this room right here has the better loot in it. So we're gonna look over here. Check out this. Uh, this room. This room has one, two, uh, three computers in it. Now these computers are your money makers for cash runs. Uh, let's see, look at that. That's a hard drive. That's 2K right there. Power supply unit. That's uh, some good money. Uh, CPU fans, decent. It's not bad. Uh, let's see what we got in this one. Usually you find a couple CPUs, maybe a graphics card, definitely a hard drive. Uh, DVD players, these aren't worth as much. They take up two slots, so uh, take them or leave them. These CPUs, however, are worth 6K each. Oops. 
So go ahead and take those. Those are good. Let's see what we got in this one. Uh, no DVD. Well, uh, that's all we got. DVD. Well, kind of a shitty run, but uh, netted all together, these two rooms will make you about 40k each on a bad run. On a good run, you're looking at 80k plus. So it's not bad. Definitely not bad. It's definitely good for uh, starting players. Um, starting to get into this game, starting to get uh, some money. Uh, oh, look at that. We got some tomato soup. Let's go ahead and eat that tomato. Oh, it's not tomato soup. It's Tushanka. Whatever that is. Uh, it's probably tasty. My guy likes to eat it. Um, but yeah, so that's all we got right now. That's where you use custom ski. That's where you get the documents case in the room adjacent to this one. And uh, you have to drop it off in the factory, which is a bitch, by the way. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Kozart the Barbarian signing off for GS for Gaming, and I will see you guys on the battlefield. Later.